So my lab is developing two different types of gene therapy for the muscular dystrophies. The first is a gene editing platform for Duchenne muscular dystrophy, and the second is a gene replacement platform for limb girdle dystrophy. For the gene editing platform, we have moved that into a company, a startup company, which is now translating that therapy to patients uh, and is in still preclinical development but moving closer towards clinical trials. And the gene replacement platform is still being developed in my laboratory in collaboration with Jeff Chamberlain and we are working on regulatory cassettes and different capsids to optimize the therapy for this disease. These therapies are, are currently in preclinical development, um, but they're becoming closer to uh, therapeutic reality, being closer to being put into patients. And as the field moves forward, we'll learn more about the mistakes and the benefits of the various platforms that are developed, and we will take that information and it will allow us to make more rapid progress. The um, Myogene Bio, the company that was founded by my colleagues um, and our graduate student, Dr. Courtney Young, she is now um, moving towards uh, discussions with the FDA in the U.S. and will be getting a pre-IND fairly soon. The other platform for Limb Girdle 2A is still being developed and optimized, um, but we anticipate we will be approaching the FDA in about two years. It's really exciting to come to a Congress in France because I live in America and work in America, and so to be able to come to this meeting allows me to have exposure to many different scientists and, and different science and wonderful work being done. Um, and supported by the AFM. I've been extremely impressed by the sophistication and excellence of the science, the rigor, and the ability to take basic science and, and create therapies from really um, the environment that's here, supported by the government and, and the foundations. So. It's very sophisticated and very um, designed to advance the science because of the access to clinical samples, uh, much more than we have in the United States, I would say. So I've been very impressed by the science and the scientists and enjoying my meeting so far.